Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the broken set, and I am in a very nasty, evil, vindictive mood, because I've just gotten off of War Thunder, un uninstalled it for like the thousandth time because I realized how stupid it was, and I feel like creating machines of murder, so we're back on TerraTech again. Mm, so, basically, I think the most important project we have on our hands right now is a bit of resource collecting so we can get our stash of BBs up into the air. Um, pun not intended with the propeller on the back of my rig right now. Maybe we should go kill him. Maybe he'll have some nice parts on him. That'd be a nice way to start off the episode with some murder. Extreme butt sex prank gone wrong. Gone right. Gone sexual. Gone bisexual. Gone transsexual. Keep an eye on the battery levels and hope for the best. So far, we are doing fine on the shield front. This is actually going surprisingly well. But he won't show off his cab. Yes, he will. Thank you. And put that down so we can get all of his shit off the ground. So yeah, as you may have noticed, I've uh, screwed around in the intermediate time between episodes. We've got our base set up a little bit better there so we can buy and sell more easily from it. We've got my tech looking a lot more sexy and a new saw blade on the front because you gotta interchange those things otherwise they wear out. I'm, I'm joking, of course. This tractor pad, the picker, oh my god. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say anymore. I'm suddenly speechless because of that thing in the background. What on earth is that monstrosity? <laughs> that Illuminati pyramid of joy, fun, and happiness upon the hill. Oh my god, I can feel shit leaving my anus in fear. I don't want to get close. Looks like I'm gonna have to though, because otherwise it's just gonna wreck my base. Uh, can I get behind it? Yes, it is a. Oh my god, it's a leg producing pyramid of death! I think it's got the four way tractor pads on the bottom. If we get those. Well, no, wait, no, those are just big one blocks. Never mind. Gotta keep thrusting forwards, because otherwise I'm just gonna get thrusted backwards. This might take a while. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when it's done. I don't think this is working as well as I wish it would. I believe a new strategy is in order. I think... <sighs> beverage today is milk. Regular. And it is my density. Yes, I stole that entire thing from... Actually, not the entire thing. I stole the this beverage is... Thing from official stuff plus so you should check out because he's awesome and I stole that it is my density thing from Clint Basinger also known as lazy game reviews 
who you should also check out because he's awesome. This is going to take a little while. And... Alright, so... My plan, tacticians in arms, is this. I'm going to charge into that hole I made. And that's about it. I'm going to hope the guns take care of them. Go! Search! Oh, the lag! Kill everything! Kill it! Ah! Murder! Can it actually aim down far enough to get at me? Yes, I think it can! I think it is! Oh god, I'm dying horribly. Oh, this is not working as well as I wish it did. Uh, nor is anything at this point. Oh! Ah, uh, my cab ran out of health. Goody. Looks like I'm gonna have to keep running at this thing until it just dies. Which is going to be very, very long-winded. Oh, joy. I killed it! Can you guess where my butt is in all of this? Oh, goodness gracious! <sighs> Christ! I don't know how bots like that keep getting into the game. It's like, I don't even have Twitter on. It's just that shit is in the game as a base product thing. It's There's one good thing that comes out of this. I'm going to get a lot of fucking batteries and hailfire rifles out of this. And shield projectors, I think. But yeah, this little bot fly burrowed its way into the heart of the giant Illuminati pyramid beast thing murdered it from the inside out and everything was hunky dory it, was, it took way too long I had to keep getting the stock tech from the GSO dudes because I kept dying because the thing is too fuck massive I Jesus I invested a lot into that first tech that you saw at the start of the game. I, I invested a fair amount of money into it because the wheels are fucking expensive. I guess this is a, as good an excuse as any to build myself a new one. Bigger, better, and more metallic than ever. But first of all, we need to clear up this fucking mess. <sighs> this is gonna take a little while. Alright. Thank you, my friend, but I think we need a better actual tech to take care of everything. Mm. Right, well, I promised building in this episode, so I, I think I'm going to do some building. expression fucking garbage fire you fucking garbage fire how dare you how dare you I was just god damn it <laughs> 
And here I thought I was playing this game to get away from the fucking stress of it all. Fuck right off. Fuck right off. I guess I don't call you a nosy boy for nothing. You come over here, pick up his blocks. Son of a bitch! People keep interrupting me. Well, at least I get the HF Vibro Blade out of it all. Vibro Braid. That was almost very racist. <laughs> that was almost very racist. And my tech seems to be sliding across the floor for reasons unknown. I think that's good enough. For our purposes, that is... that is enough. Yeah, I think we'll do fine. Let's go out and collect some resources, but first, let's murderize this idiot. Because he's close to me. AGAIN! FUCK OFF! Holy shit! Tell your friends, you dead bastard! I'll be here all... I don't know, all... All season? I'll be here as long as I need to be. Or as long as I keep recording episodes or playing the game. In this position, I'll probably be here as long as I fucking want to be. Which is forever. So, you know, there's that. So yeah, I, I will be here all all the time. So, tell your friends that this asshole who just murdered you without a second thought will be here forever. And is not leaving anytime soon. And if you come back, and if you come back with your friends and kill me, then I will become more powerful than you could ever hope to imagine. Oh good. The uh, wheels here actually go at a speed acceptable to the uh, tractor pads. That is useful. Why must you do this? Why must you do this? And yeah, we get 440 off of those refined resources. 
which is good. The unfortunate thing is, is because we don't have the big wheels, the big, big, big wheels, um, oh, there goes my phone telling me it's running out of battery because, you know, why not? Um, because we don't have the big wheels, this thing isn't going to go very fast. It's going to go slow enough for the picker tractors to actually pick up resources and hold on to them for the entire fucking trip. Which is convenient at worst. Or actually, convenient at best, but just harrowingly slow at worst. Which, you know what? Eh, it's too slow. Here, have some, have some resources. Process those. I heard gunshots. I heard gunshots. Therefore, I'm going to go investigate. Oh, look! Another giant asshole! Actually, he's not too big. I think I might be able to take him with, like, two bars left on my shields. Especially considering I have many, many, many guns. I can just burrow through people. I guess that's what you call boring. Get it? Get it? Because I'm like tunneling through these people with bullets. Boring. Boring. Boring! Boring! You get the joke? Why aren't you laughing? Shoot the annoying people, make the annoying pay! Hello! Hello, pretty! Hello, pretty lady! I think this is a good spot to end the episode. Killing that asshole all the way over there in the distance to the left. The, the big guy with the giant fucking guns on top. Those? Those are the Megaton Cannons. They fire mini nuclear devices, pretty much. They are the most damaging and overpowered things in the game right now, and if I can get my hands on them, we'll be we'll be in the money for the rest of the fucking running. Because that means I will be able to tear through everything that gets in my way. I intend to kill that shit. I intend to kill that shit, but first... I need to make a modification or two, because I'm not exactly sure this thing is going to survive. I need to go into the bottom of this and see what I can do about implanting some, not shield bubbles, repair bubbles deep inside. Because if I can get those, I'll just have infinite health on all my parts within the radius. Because the thing is, that that mini nuke launcher of a cannon goes through shields. The splash damage actually splashes through shields, so I need to have as much healing capability as possible. What I have right now I think is going to be fine. We're just going to have to hope it holds up. And now... Let's charge him. Let's charge him and see what happens. Oh my god, did you see? The entire front of my tech is green and flashing, desperately trying to heal. But yeah. Now we got the good shit. We got that good sarsaparilla. We got that good sarsaparilla going on. I'm gonna remove all these guns off the front. I'm going to go in here. And I'm gonna plant some of these on. And then I'm going to go and attack the guy over there. And we're going to murder his face in. This is going to be hilarious. Hey! Hello you indeed! Oh! 
and his parts go raining across the map. Ah, oh, I think my vindictive episode has come to a, a fitting close, don't you think, lovely audience? Ah, alright. So this has been The Broken Set, and from The Broken Set to you, stay fractally. Oh, <laughs>